Hello everyone, my name is Corin Wiskman and welcome to another card video. Today I'm playing with Crafty Meraki. These products are from their new Meraki Hugs release, so let me show you what I've got. This stamp set here is called Two Taily Awesome. <laughs> This fox is absolutely adorable. This one here is the Eccentric Hearts A2 die. When cut, this die creates a frame of lined, very intricate rows of hearts. This one here is called Valentine, and it's the set that I'm gonna be using for my projects today. When I first saw this set, I instantly saw all four of my children, and so I made them each a Valentine using this set. These two are my daughter Kaylin and my son Hayden. You will see Hayden on the right using some mirror paint that we're gonna to use today, and on the left, I foiled that one with Nouveau foil and adhesive. Both created a very shiny Mylar type balloon image. So I'm unsure of which card I want to try to redo. This stuff is really messy, okay? But, but so is this stuff. I looked like the Tin Man the other day. When I used this mirror paint before, it kind of soaked into the cardstock. It needed a glossy surface. We're gonna remake a couple cards and we're gonna test this out. If I put a glossy base, glossy accents, or crystal glaze, on the balloon before I try to accent the mylar part, maybe it'll look a little nicer. Plus, I think I need a super small brush. I was using a micro brush. This stuff goes a long way. I painted this. <laughs> this is only one coat, um, and I didn't use any primer. It definitely soaks in to your paper or wood products. So you have, to, you have to use a primer or a gesso base. I don't have gesso here, so I'm gonna um, try crystal, uh, crystal glaze. So I'm going to first stamp my images with alcohol marker friendly ink and using alcohol marker friendly paper because I'm gonna be using my alcohol markers. And uh, we're gonna color some images and then test some mirrored finishes on camera and see if it works out for me. So I am stamping my images today on Heffy Doodle alcohol marker friendly paper and I'm using my favorite things extreme black ink because I will be using my alcohol markers to color my kids today. I am using the original Misty to stamp my images. I'm also using a microfiber cloth to give good even pressure along the door of the Misty. I am using a mix of Copic alcohol markers as well as Tombow ABT Pro alcohol markers to color my images today. If you're wondering what specific markers I'm using, I do usually create a color map for them. You can check either my Instagram or my blog for those and Pinterest. I am just playing with Hayden's face, really, trying to give it a little bit more depth, create a little bit of shadows around the inner eye area, give him a little bit of, of a nose, more of a nose. Um, I'm not a colorist by any stretch, but I do like to experiment when I color. And so I'm trying to make his cheeks appear a little bit more pudgy and there to be a little bit of div dimension in his face. I tried to do that with all of the characters in this set. Some of them look maybe a little weird, but that's okay. Um, this is the two side by side. This is, I tried to replicate and that's how different it really turned out. So here are my two images. That's Hayden and there's Dexter. So Dexter, I want him to be in like a magic bubble. So I'm using some yellow Tombow markers to create a yellow magic bubble if that makes any sense. So I'm just using the darkest marker to make an outline, and then I'm using the other two markers, the medium and the light blend, to kind of make it uh, appear it blends into white. I was using a lot of ink, so I stopped and dried it off. Very technical moves here. And I continue to blend, um, creating this dreamlike cloud for my son to be in. Dexter's favorite color is yellow, so that's why the little dream cloud would be yellow, right? So I used my brother's scan and cut to cut them out because I can't fussy cut. I will ruin it. I want to make his dream cloud sparkly. So we're gonna spray it with some spritz. That's a lot of work. 
So I put my cut out dream cloud into my little box here and I'm spraying three types of shimmer spritz, Frost and Sparkle by Imagine Crafts and White Iridescent by Hero Arts. And I, I love these three together and yes, it makes it super shiny and it's a little overkill. So one of my favorite things to do is to ink blend clouds in my background. I just really love it. I think it looks great with most images, especially this one of my son taking a balloon flying in the air. So I'm using Aspen Mist. This is a chalk ink by Versa Magic. I've decided to make sure I coat this heart balloon with crystal glaze to give it enough time to dry. Now I'm going to ink blend a room for Dexter to be in. So the way I ink blend a room is I just ink blend a straight line. The bottom would be the floor color and the top color would be the wall color. Now I'm taking my sentiment and stamping that right onto the background of that of the clouds. You can't you can't see the clouds, but they're there, I promise. I'm taking the fun cloud images from the Valentine stamp set and I'm stamping them in Gina K watermark ink onto some heavyweight vellum. I'm going to use Simon Says Stamp white embossing powder and I'm actually going to have to fussy cut these out myself. Look, look at me struggle. I'm gonna put Dexter's card together and let the glossy coating on that image. We're gonna give it a minute because it's still it's still a little wet. Probably should have done that yesterday. So to make Dexter's dream cloud even more dreamy, I'm taking my white jelly roll pen and I'm creating hash marks and lines and dots just to create some sparkle on top of the sparkle. And then on top of that sparkle, I used Ranger uh, stickles in frosted lace. So this thing doesn't get any more sparkly. So I chose yellow as the prominent color here because it's Dexter's favorite color. So I can't wait to show this to him. Now let's try to play with some mirror paint for that mylar part of the balloon. So I ordered this mirror paint from Stuart Simple. It's, um, it appears to be a really small vial of paint, but this stuff goes a really long way. Like I'm just taking a little bit from the cap of this paint bottle to, to test it for you here. And a little bit really does go a very long way with this. This is a solvent based paint that claims to be the mirrorist of mirror paints. And spoiler alert, I, I think it is. Um, but you really need a small brush, even smaller than this one. It seemed very liquidy and it got into the cracks and crevices of the glossy accents or the crystal glaze, whatever you use to create your glossy base, it's going to creep in all the crevices that you don't see with the naked eye, but you can see when it's bright and shiny in your face. I still think it looks awesome. I need a really small brush, like one hair. I need a one hair brush, is that, is that a thing? This clear, uh, tape is probably one of the greatest things I discovered this past year. Um, my friend Amanda told me about it and it is awesome and one of the super cool things about it is you can't really see it when you use it with vellum. So I love dimension on my cards so I'm always on the lookout for like good adhesives that I can use with vellum. So this I'm just gonna put two small pieces on either side of it I really think giving it a glossy base made a huge, huge difference. What do they say? Mirrorist, uh, mirror paint? It's, it probably is. It's probably the best that I've seen. But um, do you need it? No. Mm -mm. It's fun though. I've already started brainstorming what other stamps in my collection need to be chromed out. That looks like a fun Mylar balloon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed making some cards with me today, and um, until next time. For more card-making shenanigans, follow me, follow Crafty Meraki on social media.